Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we are going to increase the player's running speed every second. So yeah, let's get started. First, we want to go to the GM Endless Runner. Okay, and now that we are here on the event graph, we want to move all these code after the begin play to the right, like this. And now we want to keep the S uh, pressed on our keyboard and left click so we get the sequence. We want to connect this get all actors of class to the 10 zero. And now for to the 10 one, what we want to do, we want to check if is valid is at the bottom and we can actually make it uh, uh, as our favorite like this. Now here we want to select or search for the third person character. Okay. And now from the is not valid, we want to get a delay and we want to make, make this delay for like 0 0.01 like that. Let's uh, connect this uh, completed back to here. Okay, now from the is valid, what we want to do, actually we want to get from here, we want to get a player character. Okay, and from the get player character, we want to cast to third person character. And we want to connect this is valid to here. And actually, let's move this a little bit further down, like that. Okay. And now, from here, we just want to promote this to a variable, like that. And now I will actually rename this variable player underscore ref, like that. And I will move it a little bit more up to here. Okay. So now we have base tile ref and player ref. Okay. Now we want to create a new function to here. So let's go a little bit down and right click and search for custom event. Sorry, not function, event. Okay. And now we want to rename this custom event to increase speed, like that. Okay. And what we want to do next is we want to first get a branch. So B and left click like this. And what we want to do here, we want to get the play ref we want to get character movement. And from the character movement, we want to get the max walk speed. Okay, like this. Now we want to check if the max walk speed speed is less or equal. And we want to make this value, let's make it, for example, 1000. We can adjust it later. Yeah, now let's connect this to the condition. So if our max walk speed is under 1000 or equal, then we can continue from the true. And yeah, so now we want to get from the max walk speed and we want to add to it, so plus, okay? And I will actually align this, so select and Q. Okay, and now also what I want to do, is I want to get from here and I want to map range clamped like this and the range is range a is our starting walking speed i will set it to 300 and range b is our max walk speed so let's make it 1000 okay and the a is basically how much how many points it increases by uh, every time this function fires so when we are at 300, it will increase it by five. And when we get closer to the 1000, it will slowly change the five to the one. So it will uh, like decrease uh, like little by little, you know? So, uh, so when we are basically half at the half point of this, it will be half point of this. Okay, let's connect this to the plus. And now what we want to do, actually let's move this a little bit. Also, uh, let's move all these a little bit further and this like that. Okay, we want to get from the character movement and we want to set max walk speed and we want to set it on the true. And now we want to set it to this value that we get from this code. Okay, now let's add a reroute to this blue string and let's move it to here. Okay. So now this function is basically 
done. Only thing we have to do here, we want to add a delay after this. And we want to make it one second. And after that, we want to call this function again. So increase speed. And we are doing it, it this, this way, because if later on somebody wants to turn this to a mobile mobile uh, endless runner game, then this will be much more efficient with this method than if we would be using the event tick, it would fire this. If we had like 60 frames per second, it would fire this like 60 times per second. And yeah, now we only fire it once per second. Okay. This will be much more efficient. Okay, now that we have done this, we want to go to here, to the event begin play. We want to add a pin to this sequence. And from this pin, we want to actually call that function. So increase speed, like this. Now let's compile and save all. Now let's go back to the third person map. Let's open the pp third person character. Okay. And what we want to do here, we want to go to the character movement. And here we can see the max walk speed. We want to set it to uh, 300 or whatever way you used on uh, here. So now if we go to play, actually let's add a little print string to the, to the screen so we can see what is happening. So let's go back to the PP third person character. And here we have this event tick. Let's add a, let's search for a print string node. Let's add it to here at the end. And now we want to get the character movement. Let's get the max walk speed. Let's connect it to the string. Now let's open this and change this duration to zero. Okay, let's compile and save and let's play and let's see what happens. So you can see it will, in, it is increasing by five and slowly uh, uh, it will decrease the increase amount or I don't know that sounded weird but you know it's not increasing it by five anymore it's in increasing it by like 4.5 4.4 something like that so, so yeah and as you can see the player is starting to run more quickly or So yeah, I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, see you on the next one. Bye.